This video is about a substitution cipher known as the keyword cipher. This technique is also sometimes referred to as the Visionnaire cipher, after the French mathematician Blaise de Visionnaire, who lived in the 1500s. The Visionnaire cipher was actually invented by an Italian cryptologist called Giovanni Battista Bellasso. Let's just call it the keyword cipher. If you understand the Caesar cipher, it's much easier to understand the keyword cipher. So let's start by reviewing the Caesar cipher. The Caesar cipher is quite effective if your would-be hacker doesn't know how it works, but if they do, it's very easy to crack. Suppose you wanted to encrypt this plain text message with an encryption key of 4. This means each letter in the message should be substituted with the letter four places along in the alphabet. So, M becomes Q, E becomes I, T becomes X, M becomes Q, and so on. You can see why this is called a substitution cipher. Each letter of the plain text is substituted with a different one to create the cipher text. Using this method, you might have to start reusing the alphabet for some of the letters that you want to encrypt. With a key of 4, W becomes A, X becomes B, Y becomes C, and Z becomes D. A cipher wheel is another way of looking at this. By rotating the inner wheel clockwise four places, the substitutions you need to encrypt a message with a key of 4 are easily read off the other wheel. Perhaps a Roman general in the days of Julius Caesar would carry a gadget like this with him into battle. The number 4 is called a symmetric key, because this is what you need to know to decrypt the ciphertext. If you know the key, it's just a matter of reversing the process. But there's a big limitation with the Caesar cipher. There are only 25 possible keys. Think about it, if you had a key of 26, it would mean a full rotation around the alphabet. A would become A, B would become B, in fact everything would just stay the same. If you had a key of say 82, this would mean three full rotations of the alphabet. 26 times 3 plus another four places. Cracking the Caesar cipher with a key of 82 is no more difficult to crack than using a key of 4. So how can we improve on this? Instead of using a single number for the key, you can use a key word. In this example, the keyword is cat. Write the keyword repeatedly underneath the original message as many times as you need to so that there's a keyword letter for each letter of the plain text. Now, write down the position in the alphabet of each letter in the keyword. In this example, C is position 3 in the alphabet, A is position 1, T is position 20. Finally, you can use the Caesar cipher for each letter, but this time with a key that isn't necessarily the same for each letter. You can work this out on scrap paper or even a spreadsheet, but a cipher wheel will come in handy if you've made one. If you wish, you can substitute all of the letters which have the same key at the same time, like I'm doing here. This will help to speed things up. Now, think about it. The longer the keyword, the better, because then there's less chance of encrypting the same plain text letter with the same number. In fact, you could use a key phrase consisting of several words for your encryption key if you wanted to. The keyword in this type of cipher is also known as a symmetric key, because the decryption process is the opposite of the encryption process, if you know the keyword. Here are some plain text messages you can try encrypting yourself with the keyword cipher. Each message uses a different keyword. Pause now to give them a go. This is not something you can do in a hurry. You'll see the solutions when you resume playing the video. And here are the solutions.
Is your ciphertext the same as what you can see here? Decrypting ciphertext that's been encrypted using a keyword or even a key phrase is an almost impossible task without any kind of clue, or the help of a computer program. Here are some messages you can try to decrypt yourself, but there's a clue. Each message has been encrypted using one of the keywords, one, team and win. But which is which? Pause now to give them a try and I'll show you the solutions when you resume playing. And here are the plain text solutions. Did you get them all? In the days of Visionaire and Balasso, the keyword cipher was near enough unbreakable. But these days, someone could write a computer program that simply tried every word in the dictionary against the cipher text until it produced something meaningful. There's about 200,000 words in the English dictionary, which, believe it or not, would not take a computer very long at all to try one after another. Modern computers are very fast. If you wanted to make things really difficult for a hacker, you could encrypt the encrypted text with a second keyword. Here's the text that was encrypted earlier using the word cat. Now let's encrypt the cipher text with the keyword bird. First, write down the keyword repeatedly under the text that you want to encrypt. Then, get the position of each key letter, and then substitute according to these numbers. Perhaps you can think of some more improvements to the keyword cipher.